Club, Chip and Nails, I'll still be working here. <laughs> yeah, ladies, 160 pounds of middle-aged man candy looking at you here tonight. <laughs> They've even offered me my own private stripping room with a lock on the door. <laughs> Turns out it's to keep the little old ladies with Alzheimer's disease I'll be stripping for from escaping. <laughs> While the 25-year-old guys are going to be out there getting their pants up with dollar bills, I'll be in there with little old ladies coming up to me. Are you my son? Yes, I am. Uh, mother? Sign right here. That's terrible to take advantage of the elderly like that. It worked for Anna Nicole Smith though, didn't it? <laughs> I'm out here from Pie Top. Anybody know where Pie Top's at? <laughs> wow, great. So you know the people in Pie Top are a little bit not quite as cityfied as you folks down here in Scottsdale? But we're not as quite as backward as you might think. I mean, we don't date our sisters and we have all our teeth. But uh, if Walmart, Bass Pro Shop, and your neighbor's front garage sale in their front yard are the only three places you shop at, you might live in Pine Top. <laughs> if you wait for the winter snow or the summer monsoonal rain to wash your car twice a year, you might live in Pine Top. And finally, if your wife has been trying for months and months to talk you out of a deep, dark depression because you didn't get drawn for an elk tag this year, <laughs> Something. Anyone out other than me doing the online dating thing? Oh, you're all liars. Okay, fine. <laughs> Bye. It's all right. I actually tried eHarmony, and it's interesting the television commercials they have on TV. You've seen them all, right? Be loved with who you are on the inside. Guys, you know what that translates into? He'll still love me even though I weigh 450 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Um, you know, the thing about uh, eHarmony is that when you have that, that type of person in there, you, you kind of wonder about them, you know? And uh, I've actually was not really worried so much about uh, large, large women. I don't have any problem with them. I'm just tired of getting power slammed to the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I've even taken out some insurance in the form of a memory foam mattress. In case I don't show up for work, They'll be able to find the outline of my body after she's done with me. My new motto is, if I can't get my arms around her, I can't take her home. <laughs> Draw the line. I was dating a woman for a while back, and she's a really nice gal, but after about two months or so, all of a sudden she drops the F word on me. Friends. I just want to be friends. Oh God, not the non-sexual buddy friend line again. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, what are you gonna do about that? I mean, isn't that what God invented gay men for? To listen to straight women talk about their problems? <laughs> Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, we go out to Starbucks and have a non-fat cinnamon dolce latte with no whip, and he listens to me for hours and hours on end. I mean, do I look like Richard Simmons? <laughs> oh, go ahead, honey. You were staring. You were staring. It's okay. Eat that 27th piece of cheesecake. It's all emotional. It's emotional. You'll cry out the calories later, my caloric cutie. I actually think we're going to start seeing each other again, though. I see her all the time. I see her in Safeway. I see her in Starbucks. I see her through her blinds with my binoculars. <laughs> Friends. Well, 
On this day in 1792, the New York Stock Exchange was actually started by a group of 24 men on Wall Street. The very next day, 23 of them were indicted on securities fraud. The one person left grew up to be Donald Trump. <laughs> President Obama is now in the news now. He made his stance on gay marriage very official. He went for gay marriage other than me. Yeah, we understand that's okay. So I know what you straight conservative people are thinking. What gives gay people the right to not have to pay alimony, not pay child support, not lose their house and their cars, and live in crappy little condos like the rest of us when they split up? I know. Because marriage equality equals divorce equality. Any medical marijuana fans in the audience? Alright, let's ask this one. Any regular marijuana fans in the audience? Me too, me too. I believe in aerial spraying of THC. I think you ought to just shoot it up in the air and let it drift down to earth. I mean, the only thing anyone ever would ever argue about would be, honey, where the hell did you put the, the chunky monkey ice cream? Well, Mitt Romney is a presumed Republican nominee for president. Okay. You notice how he came from the, the far right, now he's kind of towards the middle? Yeah, there's a new bumper sticker he's out. He's trying to court the gay men's vote. It reads, all pitchers and catchers need a mitt. <laughs> Scott Sanders, I want to thank you very, very much.